back again. Sorry, I've been I've been MIA. I've been planning baddies. Um, I just want to thank everybody who helped me decide on doing baddies like the hype before the show is like comes out or the hype before the show is filmed like it's really really there so i just want to thank all of you guys for supporting me i want to thank all of you guys for like actually like you know like actually giving me good ideas like um so yeah i'm really grateful and i'm excited to you know give you baddies like unfortunately it's something that will take about two months um my aim is two months before you guys have the the, the delivered content um it's going well so far but obviously there's there's complications behind the scenes um, a part of me would have rather just done it in the UK because I feel like it would be a lot easier than flying a team of like basically 30 people abroad but the problem with the UK is I feel like um, anybody can like I feel like anybody can decide that they're not on this like this is not for them I feel like um, if a girl gets <laughs> in a passa or she, you know she gets wild I feel like a girl can just turn around and be like you know what I'm done with this and go home at the end of the day if i did it in manchester if i did it in newcastle someone can just put, um turn around and get a get a train home um people can people can get people to pull up and stuff and just mess it's messed stuff up for me so i feel like the, the fact that we're going somewhere really secluded um and somewhere where they they can't actually go home like you're literally abroad um it just makes me feel safer i feel like once we're there i feel like beforehand like right now is when i'm gonna get most of my headache but i feel like when we're out there the headache will be minimal like i think it's gonna be a couple arguments and people being frustrated but they're stuck they're really stuck when they're there um applications i wouldn't say they're closed because um so like the girls are gonna be like 10 to 14 um i've done that just in case there's dropouts you never know because people can chicken out or you know life happens at the end of the day anything can happen to, to somebody or in their personal life and they have to drop out do you know what i mean so um applications are never really closed because at the end of the day if somebody can't come for whatever reason you know what i mean i have girls in my head that are still like backups or i have at the end of the day anyone can get swapped out if there's a better candidate, I'll swap, I'll swap the person out, you know? Um, but so far, I like, I like the girls I've got. I'm not going to lie. I like the girls I've got. I'm happy with them. But I'm just saying, like, if you guys, if any of you guys are still interested in be, being on it and stuff like that, then, yeah, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Anyway, we're not here to talk about baddies. I just wanted to quickly just say thank you. That was all it was. But really, we're here because I'm going to do a story time. Ha <laughs> ha Traditional story time. So, um... It's so crazy because like this story time came to me whilst I was talking to one of my mates because like it just came to me and the reason it came to me is because of the Russell Brand situation. I'm here to tell you guys a story time and because the reason the reason Russell Brand um, inspired me to do this story time is actually because um, when I was I was just thinking about the whole the whole theory of like assassination of character i'm not saying that russell brand is i'm not saying that russell brand his like his name or his reputation um and that this whole like campaign is a, is like um assass assassination of character i'm not saying that but at the end of the day it's part of the conversation a lot of people are saying that he's been set up um so a lot of people are saying that um, the Russell Brand situation is an assassination of his character. So I started thinking about, oh my God, like assassination of characters and just the whole topic of like when someone comes out and says you've done something and maybe you haven't really done it. Um, so I was just thinking about that and just thinking how crazy the world is. And if you think about the climate we're living in and you think about Philip Schofield and then you feel, do you remember, I don't remember the guy's name, but do you remember there was the other brother who was, t um, he was married he worked for BBC News and this is Arthur Philip Schofield and um, he was caught texting a 17 year old and a 20 year old that did OnlyFans and there was a scandal about him it's just like crazy like it, I was just thinking about oh my god like we're in this climate where so many of these white men like they keep like you know getting exposed if you will and um, how like you know their careers can like shatter like that in a couple of seconds and stuff so I was just thinking about like that whole that whole idea of exposing and this is how I remember the story time I'm not gonna lie so I'm gonna start the story from the beginning and you're gonna see how it links. Because one of my friends basically confessed to me that if a guy um, sleeps with her 
and the guy basically makes her feel a type of way or the guy disrespects her um, and she feels violated at the end of the day. She's the type of person that in a moment of anger, she can like really, really get revenge on a guy. And she told me like one time when she was like a lot younger, she had like, she slept with these two guys at the same time, I believe. And um, I think they just like trashed her and made her feel a type of way. So the next day or whatever, she went to the police and said that they all wedded her. Um, and she got them, they were on remand for like a couple of months. <sighs> My prop. So, this story is a bit crazy. When I was in uni, I went to Birmingham City University. But when I was in uni, I met this girl. And she was a really nice girl. Um, I think she was a pretty girl, but I could tell she had insecurities. <sighs> um... Yeah, I could just tell she had insecurities. Anyway, cut long story short. We went on a night out. It was like a uni event. We danced the night away. I exchanged numbers with her. She was a really, really nice girl. I thought she was lit. The next morning, she texted me. And she said, can you call me? So I called her. And I was like, if I'm out of breath, I'm sorry. It's because I've been running up the stairs. But I called her and I was just like, what's up? Like, what's going on? So, she was like to me... I'm at the hospital because I overdosed so I was thinking right like what do you mean and she was just like like I basically just tried to I tried to analyze myself I tried to end it and I was just like why so we spoke on the phone for a couple hours and she was just telling me basically like her boyfriend at the time was making her hella hella like depressed and she felt a type of way like she was in her feelings about him and she didn't want to be like on this earth no more so I took a soft spot, I took a soft spot to her straight away because I thought I don't want no one to hurt themselves and she seems like a proper nice girl so I don't really like the fact that she feel, she's feeling a type of way. Anyway, we started hanging, she obviously, she like recovered and stuff and we started hanging around around the campus, around uni, we started going out together, I started to eat. At the time, I had a boyfriend. Um, I'm just going to give you my real boyfriend's name because I don't really care because me and him are cool. His, his name was Martin. So... Me and my boyfriend were really, 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 really cool. And, um, my, me, I'm, I'm very close, as we should be. He's my, he's my boyfriend, isn't it? So, me and my boyfriend, like, you know, as we're, I met my boyfriend at uni. Like, I had an, another boyfriend at uni, but this was, like, my second, this is, like, um, in, in, like, this is, like, later. Like, me and that boyfriend, I had a boyfriend in London, and that didn't work out. Then I ended up getting a boyfriend at uni. Um, so the boyfriend I had at uni, he like obviously, like he, he obviously was, we were really close, so he knew who, who all my friends were. So he kind of was like, you know, like, what's going on? Like, why are you hanging around with that girl? Because I eventually introduced him to her. And I was kind of like, what do you mean? And he was just like, don't hang around that girl. Now, uh, my boyfriend was like from South London and the girl was from South London. And he basically just said to me, like, listen, like, your friend, like, she's like the local bicycle in ends and i said are, are, are you sure and she goes and he goes yeah she is so um obviously it's not a nice thing to hear it's not nice to hear someone talk about your friend like that but at the same time um she was a very sweet girl and um i could tell she had she had troubles and stuff she was a bit troubled so who am i to judge her do you know what i mean maybe i can help her because maybe some of these decisions she's making are based on the fact that maybe she doesn't truly love herself she doesn't know herself she's going through it you know when you're going through it sometimes you act out so who am i to judge her so i didn't judge her at all i just basically said it's cool like i'm gonna help her i'm gonna be her friend because she's actually a good friend she's always there for me i'm there for her like i f with this girl so even if she's the biggest you know slack guy and like i still love this like i still have love for this girl it's not a big deal so um he just warned me about it but it's not like he he like said like i don't want you hanging around her he just kind of said like he basically kind of said something along the lines of like you can do better but i just thought no i like her so um he was like cool cool if you like her that's it's, it's, it, that's a you thing and then he told me this story where this is besides the point but he told me this story where because she was a local back in ends um he must have uh, like tried to link her and because you know he wanted to you know get he wanted to you know get some so he tried to link her and like i think like 
wherever they spoke facebook i'm not really sure where they spoke but i think um she was a bit of a catfish like she she probably edited her pictures in a way where she didn't look the way she really really looks or maybe she had loads of filters on point is <sighs> yeah point is she was a bit of a catfish so he bucked her in person and he was, and he was as he was walking towards her and she was walking towards him um he like when he saw her he was he, he these are his words not mine he basically wasn't really um too impressed so he basically ended he basically said that he legged it and he never linked her and i was like wow that's a bit deep but whatever you know i don't see what he saw i actually kind of thought she was cute but whatever now you have to understand that i would never be telling this story about her because it's kind of deep do you get it like talk about my friend like this but you know we we, we are not friends anymore and she done me dirty she done me dirty quite a lot so that's why this story is here this story there's two parts of this story that are really really important um the last bit is the crazy bit but the main body of this story is um yeah that's the last bit i'm just trying to create a picture for you guys so you, you know what happened like what i went through kind of thing but basically, okay, so imagine now we've been friends for a couple of years. So this is a bit of a story I'm going to tell you um, is mainly to do with like straight after uni. But in general, we've been friends for a couple of good, good years. We've been friends for a while now. Yeah. So this is my dog now. She actually was quite a very, very like she actually ended up being a very good friend. So I'm glad I trusted my instincts at the time. She was always there for me, she was listening to me, she showed me so much love, so she was actually a good, 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 good friend of mine. The only thing is that I will say, it's not on my business, but the only thing I would say is she was very messy with the mandem. She was very messy, you know, she would do a thing with groups of friends and stuff like that, but you know, whatever, like, you know, we're grown, I'm not really here to judge. But the thing is, I just want to say this, yeah, it's, as I say, as, as much as, like, as a female, and I'm not here to judge another female, like, you know, do what you want to do, like, nobody's above nobody at the end of the day, do you get what I'm coming from, but... Like, if we're going to call a spade a spade, yeah, um, sometimes these signs that someone's showing you, you need to actually really open your eyes because sometimes you think they're irrelevant, but really, sometimes they're very much relevant and they're gonna, you're going to regret it later and they're going to come b bite you in the ass later. Because I never really realised that her love of man was going to affect me, in it. I thought she loved man and that's her business, but I didn't realise that it was going to affect my life directly. And to be honest with you, I knew that she moved a certain type of way, but I never thought she'd move a certain type of way when it, je it, me it meant like she was going to jeopardise my moves or my life. And sometimes you need to open your eyes and sometimes you need to really think like, if, I, like, I might not care what this person does on their own, if that makes sense. I don't know if you get where I'm coming with this. So let's just say like you meet, this is an example, but let's say you meet somebody and they like, you know, do a bit of, and a bit of, and, and it, it doesn't bother you because you don't do it, yeah? Um, and then like maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe one day they're having a sleepover at your house and then your child walks in the in the room and they're doing it in front of your kid and then you're like, rah, I, you know what, I was cool when it was you were doing it and I didn't know about it and it, you were just doing it on the side or whatever. Or even if I walked in the room and you was doing it, I don't care. But like when you're doing it in front of my kids, it's a problem. Sometimes you have to see like, if someone does something or someone's a certain type of way, like, um, and you know that it's a little bit problematic, but you think, oh, but it doesn't affect my life. You just need to open your eyes because one day you could, and then you, you're you going to feel stupid because the signs were there. But basically, um, she was moving funny. She obviously was messy with men, but like I said, I didn't at the time, I didn't care. I didn't see it as a red flag because, like I said, it didn't affect me. And you know people say birds of a feather flock together? Yeah, whatever. People, could, people judge anyway. People judge all the time. Um, I mind my business, like, to this day. Um... Everyone knows that I've been dealing with females for the last basically three, three to four years. I still have um, niggas basically saying they hit. I still have niggas saying that, that which is crazy because I haven't been near a nigger for so many, so many, so many, so many years. You know what I'm trying to say? So my point is like, people chat. So sometimes you just have to think like, whatever. Like I'm not, we, you can't, it's very difficult to have a saint like a, a um, reputation because there's always going to be people who are going to hate on you and chat shit about you, true or not true. So to be honest with you, I just kind of thought, even if you lot are going to think birds of a feather flock together, once you get to know me, or once you try, let's just say, like, my friend's moving messy, but you try to chat to me, and you think, well, I'm on that, you're going to realise sooner or later, I'm not really on that. Like, I'm not going to go around the corner, and you can take off your trousers, and I'm going to go to my knees, and suck your ting. It's not going to happen like that. It's just not. So once people kind of clock that, oh, she's, she's different, like... It is what it is, and to be honest with you, people people talk. So I just kind of thought, whatever. I don't really, I don't care. She can do what she's doing. It doesn't actually affect my life. Anyway, um, 
I was wrong. I just want to say I was wrong. So first, first big, 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 big red flag. So just remember, this is like us straight after uni, yeah? Straight after uni, I have a different boyfriend now. So the first boyfriend I had, we've broken up. I've got a different boyfriend now. Um, my boyfriend, uh, cheeky little bastard. This is actually, this is uh, this is actually kind of like a, um, this is an interesting day because my boyfriend ended up having a birthday party and he invited me and obviously I took my friend with me. But what's interesting about it is when I went to this birthday party with my boyfriend, no, sorry, when I went to this birthday party with my friend, I'm just going to call her, because it's, it's weird just saying my friend, I'm just gonna, I'm going to call her Amy. But when I went to this, um, um, party with Amy, um, <sighs> I thought because I was bringing her so basically in uni more time I was I when I was with my boyfriend the other boyfriend um and when, when we went to uni raves and when she acted loose and crazy in front of Mandem I didn't really care about the boy she was acting crazy around so it, didn't, it just didn't bother me but the minute she started doing it like in front of maybe like a nigga I actually care about then obviously it was different so when we, we, now so I in my head I don't know I just thought it was common sense I thought you're she, she's gonna be on her best behavior because we're going to my boyfriend's birthday party she's gonna be on her her, her, her best behavior so he got AP we pull up um and I think initially he wasn't there but his brethren are there and whatever we're all vibing listening to music eating a few nibbles it's a good vibe he later walks in, so he does like a grand birthday entrance. Do you get what I'm coming from? Maybe like an hour or two after we entered. So, like I said, he wasn't there initially. He wanted to do his little entrance. He does that. It's all nice, but the thing is, there was a red flag. I, I'm going to tell you this random part, and then I'm going to go into what she did. So, he walks in. I'm not going to lie to you. It was bare weird, yeah, because when, she, when he walked in with his birthday, there was this girl behind him grinning, grinning, bare grinning, bare teeth, bare teeth, like grinning. And she had, she had, a, she had a cake, and it was like a specialised cake. It wasn't just just like a random cake from from Tesco or like a, a um, like a just a random chocolate cake from Lola's like it was specialized it said his name on it and everything and she was bare grinning so it was almost like she looked like she was proud of herself so I'm thinking did she get him the cake and like the cake's kind of big so I'm thinking why would she why would this girl get him this cake and she looks very proud of herself do you get what I mean and she was super friendly she was talking to all the boys and everyone in there and it was giving it was really giving like you know it was really giving like this is this is my main bitch like it was really giving that you know men are very silly they are very very silly that he done that so cool say no more in it so i must have been chilling in one of the bedrooms in the ap and she must have come in i don't know what to do but i think one of the bathrooms was busy so she maybe she wanted to use the other bathroom i don't remember what she came in the, in the bedroom for but she come in the bedroom get me and one of his friends was in the corridor so i've gone sidebar but i just it's just because it's it, it's it you know it was a very interesting night she goes in the story in in the, in the toilet sorry i'm assuming she went in the toilet because I, I like i said not remember but while she now this is when she's done yeah and she's trying to leave the room and like i said the man didn't went in the corridor yeah and i was just in the in the bedroom with my friend or maybe there was two other girls in that bedroom on the other side so she's now trying to leave to go back out but i'm like oh 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 now you see the friend amy she actually come to me and she confirmed what i thought she was like to me i'm not gonna lie to you lani that girl is 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 moving hella hella like you know like um she's moving territorial she's moving like this is my my nigga this is my man so she just basically said i'm not gonna lie lani like i think he's doing a thing with her so i said all right cool say no more so when she's leaving the room i must have been like excuse me can i talk to you so she goes, yeah, cool. Yeah, all I'm going to say is his brethren's face dropped. Completely dropped. He's, like, shocked. Like, oh, my God. Like, what? Like, why are they talking? So I knew everything I needed to, need to know from the brethren just making that face. So I'm just like, like, how are you? Like, um, that was a really nice cake you got from, for what's his face? And she's like, thank you, thank you. He then comes to us and tries to stop us from talking. Like, guys, 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 let's go back to the party. There's no need for this. So I'm thinking there's no need for this. Like, I'm thinking, I'm just saying hi to the girl. And then the, uh, the girl's kind of like, what's the problem? She just said hi to me. And he's like, nah, nah, come on, man. Let's, let's enjoy the party. And then I'm like, I just say, I just say, fuck it. So I'm saying, are you effing uh, my man? Is he your man? Or something. Because you, the way you're moving is very weird. Like, like you're effing him or whatever. And then she goes, yeah, he's my man. I've been dealing with him. Or he's been my boyfriend on and off for two years. We break up, make up, break up, make up. So I'm just like, swear. Cool. And she goes, why, who are you? And I said, I'm his girlfriend. I've been his girlfriend. Uh, and me, I had been his girlfriend on and off for three years. 
So yeah, he, he's just a dog, but whatever. He all went crazy, but cool. Now, prior to this happening, my friend Amy had been talking to one of the mandem and she was really flirting with one of okay she'd been flirting with hella hella dude she'd been flirting with hella 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 dudes but she'd been flirting with one of them and them in the toilet in the toilet outside not the toilet in the bedroom and to be honest with you, i just kind of thought of course maybe she, she wants to meet a guy like it is what it is whatever get me but the thing with her flirting is her flirting isn't just yeah oh my god you know like you know when that guy's that's like you're pretty you know you're pretty you know and you know what your body and then you're like oh thank you thank you like you can get to know me if you want her flirting isn't like that like her flirting is like he's just like yeah like what's up and she's just like oh what you want like, you, you you want some of this i know you want some of this you trust me you, you know you won't regret it and he's like say so i won't regret it she goes yeah i'm good with my mouth yeah i'm really good with my mouth and i've got the wet wet <laughs> Her flirting is a bit much in it, so for, for, so for someone she don't know. So, and obviously I witnessed this stuff, but I'm, like I said, I'm thinking, let me not judge her. So, she's flirting with one of his brethren. Like I said, I witnessed this. But as far as I'm concerned, nothing happens. Cool. There's a point in the party that I actually lose Amy. I don't know where she is. Um, she probably said she's going to the toilet or going, going here or going there. I don't know where this girl, this girl has disappeared to um but eventually like I'm, I'm probably just vibing doing whatever this is before, by the way i just want to make this clear that this is this is a, this is prior to um me finding out that my man had been cheating on me so i'm i'm, I'm probably vibing walking around the whatever i've lost her so then i start looking for her so i'm like where is she i ain't seen her in like 10 minutes you have to remember she's the only person i really know there like who's who's like my dog like i don't have a, the other females are not my my friends even though maybe i can have a conversation with them so i'm like where's, where's my where's my pal where's my pal so i'm looking for her around the ap i can't find her so i keep looking keep looking i can't find her i keep looking i keep looking i can't find the girl eventually i find her when the door opens to the bedroom the bed you know the bedroom that's open to everyone i'm, I'm like kind of looking for her i'm kind of in the bedroom now i'm thinking where is she someone's maybe say, saying to me i think she's in there the door opens i see her and i see my ex-boyfriend now to give you guys a bit of context my my new boyfriend knows one of my exes in it they're cool i'm not gonna lie you know i was not i i wasn't i was very i was fucked up back in the day so i kind of dated two guys that were very very close so not very very close but like they, they were they, they were acquainted type of thing so she's in there yeah with my ex wiping her mouth he's kind of putting up his trousers and this isn't fair enough like don't get me wrong it's my ex but it's like my ex from maybe like two two three years ago so now nah, you know what he was my ex from before uni so maybe, maybe at this point it'd been three four years but i'm kind of thinking what so I, i'm confused so all the men are laughing and i'm like what happened and she goes nothing 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 i was just in the bathroom and he was talking to me so she just denies everything I'm like, what happened? What happened? He's denying everything. To be honest with you, I only found out what happened later on, like a couple months later, because he spoke to me, and he basically just said to, to, to he just told me that um, he was a freak. So he basically said that she done things to him, and then he wanted to like eat her out, but he said he didn't want, he couldn't do it because it wasn't fresh down there. Whatever. But yeah, he basically said that yeah they done the thing, and I was like, okay. The only thing is, I just, the, maybe, maybe I was silly, you guys let me know in it. Maybe I was silly you, but yeah, like I said, you guys let me know. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly add that I do believe that my ex-boyfriend did, did, took her in the bathroom, or they went in the bathroom, and his intentions weren't pure. I feel like he was trying to hurt my feelings, um, because I was now dating someone that he knew. I think he was butt hurt. He never really, really admitted it to me, but there was the signs, like, in our conversations. Because we're, we're friends now. We're still friends to this day. And, you know, he's made it clear to me that what I did hurt him, like, going out like going out with somebody that he knew. Um, So, I feel like he got with my friend to hurt my feelings. Fair play. So, you guys have to understand that part of the reason I was upset, part of the reason I didn't kick off too much, number one, my my actual boyfriend is there. I can't look like I'm jealous of another nigger. And number two, I had dated someone he knew. So who am I to judge? I kind of I kind of got it basically. 
was it done in a messy way? Yes. Was it done with bad intentions? Yes. But I th- kind of thought in the back of my head, I'm going to allow this one. I get it. The only reason I didn't want to get mad or I didn't get mad or I let it go is because I kind of thought like, mm, I have a boyfriend. Like, by the way, I forgave my boyfriend for cheating on me. So I went back to my man. So I kind of thought, I have a boyfriend. Who am I to be getting upset that she's dating my ex? And to be honest with you, I confronted her. Like, did you do the thing with my ex? And she said, she said, yeah, but she was like, I didn't think you'd care because you're in love and stuff with your new man. So I thought, you know what? I am actually in love with that, so do I have a right to be upset? You know when you have you have to be like, you have to question yourself. Really, I was stupid, but really I thought, do I have a right when I'm happy? So I kind of thought, let me just leave it. Do you get it? They're both single. Um, and to be fair, I'm dating somebody that my ex knows, so who am I to really get mad? So I kind of just thought, let me let it go. Uh, we didn't beef over it. It was We just, we just deaded it. We just deaded the like... The whole, the whole situation was just like, it wasn't an issue basically. I didn't make an issue over it. Now, I feel like that was a big red flag and I actually feel like I should have distanced myself from her. Not even think, I know I should have distanced myself from her because this last bit is the crazy bit, bitch. This last bit is where this girl really violated and this is where I was just like, I'm not having it. So cool, like I said, I've forgiven her. Who am I to judge? I'm not perfect, I'm not a saint. At the end of the day, I've dated two guys. And when I say date, like, they were both my boyfriend. I've dated two guys that know each other. So, at the end of the day, like, whatever. You know, she wanted to have some fun. Maybe I shouldn't judge her. But they said that, I just want to make it clear, yeah. They said the same thing to me as my ex. Why would you hang around this girl? She's a bit loose and she's a bit messy. But I just kind of thought, ah, oh, you guys are bit judge- judgy about girls. Like I said, I, re- I think I just really liked her as a friend. So I let it go. You understand? I really liked her. She used to be around my family. Like, we were close. Cool, couple years pass. <sighs> couple years pass. In fact, not a couple of years. A lot of years pass. Um, a hell of a lot of years. Yeah, so, yeah. M- maybe, maybe not a hell of a lot. Maybe like three or four. So, cool. At this point, we've been friends for eight years. So I'm crazy. Eight, nine years. Um, cool, so. Is it eight? Yeah, eight years. Eight years passed. Cool. So, anyway now, I must have met a certain guy who I really, 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 really liked. And everybody knows I liked him, including you lot, because I've done a diss track on, a diss track on my man. Cool. So, yeah. I just want this story to stay between you and I. I really don't need this story to end up... Anyway, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be on the blogs. There's just a little ch- ch- story time for you lot. You lot don't need to uh, make this story go viral. I, please, I beg. It's a dud. Like, I really don't. I, like, it's, it's pointless. It's just a story time. You get it? But it's a, it's a crazy story time. So, basically, I've met this guy. I think we've been dating at this point or talking for about three weeks. Not, it's not even a long time. But I've been on... If Within the three weeks, I've probably seen him probably seen him like five six times you understand I'm, I'm at this point i'm seeing him almost every weekend um and sometimes during the week like i really really like this guy and we've been on like i think we've been on like three dates i really really like this guy so this guy um okay so the guy i'm talking about invites me to a birthday party of his friend and the reason he invites me to the birthday party of his friend is because i actually know his his i know his friend because you know we're from the same ends and whatever so i know his friend so he's just like oh what's his face having a birthday party you should come so i was like cool say no more so who do i invite i invite my good good friend amy cool we get to her party now get me like it's a good vibe we're dancing we're vibing and she is on a thousand you know, she was, she was, she was always on a thousand, but she's on a thousand today. Like, it's a different level of a thousand. She is, like, flirting with everybody, and her flirting is dirty. She's talking that talk. I think she wants some tonight. I think she wants to get drilled tonight, because she's flirting with everybody around that room. It was very, 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 very embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie, because it's like, you're flirting with a guy on the table, then at the bar, like, you're literally saying you, like, 
like you might as well just like off your pants like she like was she was being extremely aggressive with her flirting and i thought what's wrong i've never seen her this bad but i was like what's up with you like why are you so flirty like and when i when i say flirty to the point where she was touching boys like she'd be touching their face touching them touching their body like mm, you know what like and i was thinking rush was just moving to bare guys bare niggas anyway the party ends i saw my bae there I must have left. We get in the car, we're about to go home to Enfield. When I get in the car now, I get a phone call from my babes. He says, where are you? I said, I'm in the car, I'm going home. He says, no, nah, don't go home yet. He says, there's an AP around the corner, pull up with your girls. And I'm, I'm with my sister though. He goes, come, just come for, for, for and, and like, just come um, and just hang out with, with us for a little bit or whatever and go home. The AP is nice. I said, all right, guys, do you mind if we do a detour? They go, yeah, let's go. Like, I'm with my sister. My sister's friend's there. Um, like I said, Amy's there and I'm there. There's four of us. We enter the AP. And to be honest with you, I'll be real. No, he actually said there was an after party. That's why we all went there. So, obviously, after party sometimes is just code for... It's just code for this. Like, it's cold for this. You get me? It's cold for this. Because when we got there, there was no after party. It was just him and his boy. We entered and he opened the door and it was his boy. There was no other boys there. There was no other girls there. It was just them two. What kind of after party is this? So, I was just like, this is a bit, this is a bit strange. So, they, the girls obviously, they were, they was a bit pissed off. So, all I remember is my sister and her brethren sitting down. And then, I sat down and then, <laughs> the other girl sat down, Amy. She sat down. We all sat down. Cut a long story short, my ting says, come here really quickly. So I'm thinking, maybe he wants a cheeky snog. I'm going to go talk to him for a bit, but then we're going to go home. I'm not going to do... The thing with me is I'm never, ever going to ever, ever, ever be having, you know, wild sex, like, with a new guy and my sister's there. I just feel like I need to be an example to my sister to a degree, and I can't be moving hella, hella thought-ish in front of my sister. So at the end of the day, even if I wanted to, because he was my new babes, I think we... Yeah, I think we had actually slept together already, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we'd have actually already slept together, but I just was not going to do that in front of my sister. Like, my sister's in the room and I'm supposed to... No. So, he took me in the toilet. Fucking disrespectful prick. And he started lipsing me and then he tried to, like, touch me and I was just like, no. Uh, and he was like, what? What do you mean? I said, absolutely not. I said, absolutely not. I said, my sister's in the other room. Get me. And actually, to be honest, she heard us kissing and she was like, ah, can you get a room, please? And I was like laughing and I was just like, come on. And I said, listen, listen, like, this is not an after party. You obviously just wanted to have fun, which is fine. But it's not adapting. Like, my sister's here. Like, I'm not going to do that. So I said to him, listen, I'm with other people. If you had asked me to come here by myself, it would be different. But I'm with other people. So I said to him, I'm going to go home. And he goes, all right, cool. Say no more. We get out. And then I say, guys, let's go. Let's go. And they're obviously ready to go because it's not a real after party. So everyone gets their bags and gets ready to go. But as we're, as we're about to leave, I realise there's only two people there. There's only my sister and her brethren. The other girl, Amy, has completely disappeared. So I'm like, wait a damn minute. Where is Amy? And they're just like, boy, we don't know, it. Probably with the other brother. So I was just like, nah. Nah. So... I turn around, go back to a corridor because the, the 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 bedroom and the toilet were adjacent to each other. They were opposite each other in the corridor. So when you walk into the when you walk into the AP, it's like a big corridor, and then there's a toilet and there's a bedroom, and then you go in, uh, um, you go further and it opens up, and there's like a lovely like lounge and kitchen. So I go back to the um, the corridor, and all I see is my man standing at the door. My man, as in my my, my thing. He's standing at the door, he's guarding the door. So I'm thinking, why are you guarding the door? So he's just like, he, he doesn't really say nothing. He's just like, you're right, yeah? And I'm just like, have you seen Amy? And he goes, oh, I think she's chatting to, what's his face? I'm not gonna lie. Um, but just leave them, give them some privacy. And I'm like, I'm not gonna give them some privacy. Like, what is she doing in there with him? And you guys, I don't know if this is gonna make sense to you, but I was very, very, very mortified, yeah? And I told you what I was mortified, yeah? I've only known this boy for three weeks, and guys, if I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, I did things with him way too fast. Maybe, I think, me and him, um, okay, we didn't have full-on sex on the first date. Did we? 
No, 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 we didn't. I think it was a second date. I know. <laughs> but you have to understand that he is, in terms of sleeping with somebody, like on the first date or the second date, he was like one of, he was one of few. I think like I've done it like once or twice with another person before. So to be honest with you, like, because back in the day, now I'm a bit older, I care a little bit less. But back in the day, I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to be a good girl. So I would, I would, I would wait until like date five or some, for some, or some shit. So you have to understand that I'm already thinking I accepted him too soon. So you know that saying, birds of a feather flock together. In this instinct and in this situation, I care about that saying because I, I like this boy, and I don't want him to think I am some big Jesse. Like I just don't. So in my head I'm thinking maybe they're just lip sync, but you have to remember back like a uh, couple of years ago she went in the toilet with my ex and started giving him, <laughs> didn't she? Started giving him, <laughs> so what like, like she like it's just it's a lot. So at the end of the day you probably think that you know what I mean like any given a uh, chance every any given opportunity, but like I'm out here. So I just I just I was so embarrassed yeah. So I thought I'm I'm putting a stop to this. I'm not having it this time. She needs to come of come out of this toilet. So I'm basically start knocking on the door, and he's like guarding the door. He won't let me in the door, and I'm like, she needs to come out. I'm not gonna lie to you. And he's just like, leave them, let them have their privacy. And I'm like, yo, Amy, are you coming out? And then she's not responding. I'm like, yo, Amy, are you coming out? She's not responding. And I'm like, you know what, Amy, if you do not come out in the next. 60 seconds i'm leaving you here you have to remember we're far from home and she she actually lived like she didn't live like she lived kind of like far, forever like from me like so her car was at mine we actually went there in my car but she drove to mine and she's gonna sleep at mine and then go in the morning but i said i'm leaving you here so i'm your ride home i'm leaving you if you don't come out of that toilet i'm um, that bedroom so she's in the bedroom Yo, if you don't come out of the bedroom i'm leaving you here so he's just like stop it chill chill i said no i'm not chilling I don't understand. She just met the brother. Why is she in there with him? And this is my motive. Like, I brought you to this motive. And you're embarrassing me. Over someone I just met. Like, what the F? And this time, it's like, this is not a guy that's been dating me for a year. This is someone I just met. Like, I really feel like you're, like, it's just, it's just, it's just a vile. Even if it wasn't about the guy, it's like, have some respect for me. Have some respect for me. Do you get it? Like, actually behave yourself sometimes, isn't it? Especially if it's going to affect how I look. Cool, so... She's not responding. I said, oh, we're leaving. I swear to God, Amy, if you don't come out of that bathroom, we're leaving. She didn't come out of that bathroom, yo. She did not come out of that bathroom. So I said to everyone, let's go. We got in the car. We got home all safely. I left her there. I My phone didn't ring once whilst I was driving home. I got into my bed. I put my pajamas on, all of that stuff, brushed my teeth, got um, wiped my makeup off with wipes, got into my bed and went to sleep. Maybe an hour later, so she was there for two, two and a half hours doing a madness. So cool. Two and a half hours later, I get a phone call. And the person that's calling me is my ting's friend. He's on the other line, but it's my ting's number. So I'm like, what's up? So he comes on the phone now and he's like, yo, Lani. I said, what's up? And he goes, why did you leave? I said, what do you mean? He goes, why did you leave? I said, because I wanted to go to go come home and sleep. And then he goes, but why did you leave your friend? I said, because I did. Because I did. Why was she in the why was she in the bedroom with you? Why was she actually in the bedroom with you? At the end of the day, you lot said you had an after party, then you lot wanted to do, you lot wanted to do nasty shit, and I wasn't there for that. Get me, man was going home. I'm the driver. We go home when I want to go home at the end of the day. So he said, so what, are you going to come get her? I said, absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's a your problem. You was the one getting uck. You was the one getting sucky, sucky, sucky. It's not my problem. It's actually not my problem. You get her home. So he was pissed off with me. Uh, he, like, obviously tried to be like, like come on, Lani, you're violating, you're violating. Like, is that how you're going to treat your friend? I said, fuck off, man. Get off my phone. You, you saw it out, yeah? You saw it out. When I was knocking on the door, you lot was ignoring me. So cool. So he then gets her a cab home, but he's fuming about it. He's fuming because he didn't want to. She gets to my house now, calls me when she's outside. She got she got home genuinely at six in the morning. I'm not gonna lie to you. She gets home at six in the morning, gets to my house. Her keys are in my house, knocks on the door. And then she goes, Have you got my keys, please? I said, Yeah, cool. So I gave her I gave her, her keys. And then she looked at me and then she goes, I went back in, got her keys. No, actually, I think I, I got her keys before she came to the door and I gave them to her. And then she goes, I can't believe you left me. And I said, whatever. 
And then she goes, but why would you do that? I would never do that to you. And I said, I would never act the way you acted. How can you do that and embarrass me? And then she goes, nah, Lan, yeah, out of order. And I said, cool, say no more. And then she was like, nah, yeah, you're wrong. I said, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. The way you acted today was embarrassing for me. Like, don't ever do that. Don't ever, ever do that. So she was basically like, nah, 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 you're in the wrong type of thing. And she stormed off. Me and her didn't talk for about two weeks. You have to remember, we used to talk every other day or every day. We were very close. So we didn't talk for about two, three weeks. Um, yeah. Um, if I'm honest, when it comes to the guy I was dating, I'm just going to call him Dion. You all know who he is. So when it came to Dion, like, to be honest, we just went back to normal. It was what it was. Um, he mentioned her a little bit, but it wasn't a big deal. We, we moved on with our life, innit? Like, we kept it pushing. All I know is the brethren that she didn't done a thing with and her, it wasn't like that thing, so it's not like they spoke again. Cool. So, one random day, she rings me, and I'm driving to work. And you know what? I thought, let me just chat to the girl, innit? At the end of the day, I don't agree with it. I need to communicate what I, why I'm not happy maybe we can make up to a degree and maybe I should just mind where I bring her or what kind of friend she is to me. She doesn't have to be a friend that's around the niggas I like because she's weird like that. But maybe she can be a friend where, you know, if I'm doing a cheeky little, um, I don't even know, it's really difficult because, like, what kind of friend would she be? A friend that just talks on the phone? You know what I'm saying? Do we go, can we go at Beefy together? Because you're going to do a madness. But I don't know. Maybe I can find a slot where I can put this friendship. Um, but maybe I just don't bring her around Mandem because she acts crazy when she sees boys. So, but I thought I'm willing to forgive her. No problem. Let's make up. And I'll just change the dynamics of our friendship. So she, she calls me. I pick up the phone. And instead of her to basically say she misses me and she wants to make up, she's calling me to talk about the situation. I said to her, I don't really care. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't care. You you was too fast, I don't know why you was in the room with my man. She then goes to me, it's not what you think though, Lani. I said, what do you mean? She goes, it's just not what you think. So I say, what do you mean? She's like, it's not what you think. You, I've been really hurt, I've been really hurt that you haven't spoken to me because this has been a really hard time for me because I was violated in that room and I was like, Violated by who? I want to make something very, 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 very clear. Very clear before I tell you this guy, before I tell you the situation. You remember I said that I knew the friend? So, um, I never dated the friend, but I knew the friend quite well. He, um, we kind of had a, 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 a there was a time, there was a time he was in, so basically there was a time that the friend of Dion was interested in me. So I've had like conversations with him, but it never went anywhere type of thing. Um, so me and him, by me and him have spoken before, and we're cool, we were friends at the, not friends friends, but we were very, very friendly at the time. But when she said like, but I'm not gonna lie to you, like, he was very much like legal, he wasn't like a road man, he was very legal, like, kind of like a, like a, like a, like a uni boy, like a geek, like a nerd, like he was, he seemed like a very sweet boy. So when she's saying this is kind of shocking, because I'm like, what, he violated you? So she's like, yeah, he violated me. Um, you know, he took advantage of me. And I'm like, okay. And then she goes, I've got more to tell you. And I'm like, okay, well, like, what's up? And then she's like, um, he's not the only one that violated me. Imagine, this. I'm just finding this out. I'm just finding this news out. So I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, he's not the only one that violated me. I got violated by him and Dion. So I'm thinking, pardon? So she's like, yeah, I got violated by him and Dion. So I was just like, so what are you saying? And then she was just like, yeah, um... They both violated me, like, kind of thing. And I'm going to go feds. So, <laughs> I said, babes, you have to remember, I, I already know what she's like. So I'm just like, babes, are you being dead ass serious? And she goes, yeah, I'm being dead ass serious. So I'm like, are you being honest, though? She goes, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. So you have to imagine, in this situation, obviously, I'm going to take the victim's side, however I'm but. Something in my spirit told me, <sighs> nah, she thinks I'm mad at her. Actually, I forgot to even tell you guys. I even blocked the girl. Not not um, not after she told me that's information. After the whole party and the whole going in the toilet, I blocked her for a while. So I there was a part of me thinking, is she saying this because she wants me to think to me to forgive her, or is this is this, is this really really what happened? You know what I mean? 
So, in my head, I'm thinking, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whether or not you were violated or not, are you saying that something happened between me and you and Dion? That's my thing. I've been seeing that guy, at, maybe at this point, for, like, just over a month. But you and him did something. So, like, I'm, I'm upset. Um, I call him. Obviously, he denies it. And um, I say to him, he's gonna, she's going to go further. And he said, yeah, let her do it. She chatted shit, your, your friend's crazy. Your friend's crazy. So I was just like, rah. Anyway, cut a long story short, I'll be real with you guys, yeah? I really struggled because I didn't know who to believe. I really didn't know who to believe. But I kept saying to her, are you 100% telling the truth? And she said, yeah, I am, yeah, I am. <sighs> I then thought to myself, if I haven't been speaking to this girl. So I had a feeling she was trying to get my attention. So after she told me this, I started speaking to her. I would pick up my, her calls. I would text her more. I would see how she was. I spoke to her. I told her she, I was upset with her, but I was willing to move forward. I had a feeling if I said that, I would get to the bottom of the truth or whether this guy's really violated her. She obviously told me that he was a bad guy and I should stop dating Dion. She was totally right. I should have stopped dating him at that point. But whether he's an R word is like a very serious allegation. Do you get it? Anyway, a couple of months passed and I, I asked her, she, she and eventually ended up dropping the charges, yeah? Or she didn't go to the feds. I don't know, either one. I'm not sure. I didn't have proof that she went to the feds. One day we were talking about the situation, and I basically just kind of was just saying, like, it's kind of mad, like, what she said to me. And then she kind of changed her story, and she kind of basically said she was really, really drunk. And how she feels violated is the fact that she was drunk, and those boys, two boys, like, done a thing with her, la, 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 la. And then I just was like, I don't know, like, first you're saying that they took advantage of you proper, like, they violated, now you're saying you were just a bit drunk. Like, which one is it? And then I said to her, do, did they really, really, like, take advantage of you? And then she goes, I don't really remember, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just was drunk and then I woke up and, you know, I just, it was just very hard for me to believe because based on the fact that, like I told you, she went into the toilet with her, with my ex. Not this, not with Dion, another ex. So, in the end, I was like, babe, like, just tell me the truth. And then she just said to me, like, listen, like, I don't like it when, when, like, she basically, okay, so, the, I don't know what exactly what happened, um, and we don't speak, so I can't ask her, but the bottom line is, she kind of felt like the boys were rude to her after she had done a thing with my man. I'm not sure if she did a thing with both of them, but she probably did. And after they got her a cab home, and I wasn't speaking to her. She got so mad that she decided that she was going to get revenge. And she basically told me on another occasion that she had done this before. She basically said that she had got two guys in jail for about seven months. Um, and she basically forced, f f falsely accused them of the R word because they had been really rude to her um, after she had had like a menage a trois with them. You know, this is somebody that had also told me that she'd had a sevensome before. She was just a very wild girl. So she said that she'd just done it to, to, to teach them a lesson. And they were on remand for seven months in jail. So I said to her, do you not think it's effed? And then she goes, well, if they had more respect and spoke to me better, I wouldn't have to do stuff like that. You know? That, this situation really, really, really hurt our relationship. Because I felt like you're really messed up, babe. I mean, do not get me wrong. The, the R word... It's such a big serious allegation and you can really ruin someone's life and fair enough men should be respectful to you but at the same time you can't go around exaggerating what happened to you because you are mad at people so you know it, it never came to light she never ever 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 actually took those allegations forward like i said i don't even know if she went to the police station i feel like she was just trying to get my attention if i'm really really honest but I just want you guys to just be aware that people are really crazy out here. And it's just crazy. But the point is, at the point of the matter, is my friend actually slept or gave fellatio to two of my exes. And I continued to be her friend after the fact. And I think the reason was because I felt sorry for her. So even after all of this, I felt sorry for her. I felt like... She was troubled. 
So even after she slept with both of them and told me that one had taken advantage of her or whatever she said, I was still her friend. And even when she admitted to me that she lied about it, and she lied about it because basically she wanted to teach them a lesson because they were rude to her, I still her friend. I really felt sorry for her and like she was troubled. So I mean, yeah, we're not friends anymore, but I just thought I should tell you that story because I think it's a bit insane. But just be, just look out for the red flags when you make friends with people. Look out for the red flags because you actually do not know how somebody's mental health is going to affect your life. You know what I mean? Even though she wasn't accusing me of that and it was someone I was dating, yo, like, really and truly, like, she really tried to come between me and someone I was, I, I, I liked. Do not get me wrong, she was right about him and I should have never dated him. But my point is, like... Don't let your friend be the end of your marriage or the end of your relationship. Don't let your friend sleep with your guy. Don't, don't like, um, dismiss red flags because you're lonely or because this girl is always there for you. She's the only one that will turn up to your birthday. Because she would be the downfall that you have. You know, in this life, you only need one or two good, 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 good friends. But make sure that the red flags are not there. Make sure the red flags are, like, a, luke, a lukewarm pink rather than a bright red like me. But that's it guys that's my story i hope you enjoyed it yeah and until next time make sure you guys subscribe to the channel make sure you like this video um and make sure you make sure you do that because you need to keep up to date with me because baddies is coming like i said in two months we fly out in three weeks to film it is gonna be an absolute movie and we're gonna trend in the in, in in the whole of the uk period okay so like i said like subscribe share and i hope you enjoyed my story time Tease on your tongue like an ice cream. Say he wanna lick it like an ice cream.